Make a human 101. Every girl is born with 250 eggs. Well, approximately. In each of her two ovaries. That's 500 altogether. Ovaries is how to say ovaries. Females have an ovary below each kidney at the top of each leg. Yes, I think at the top of each leg is better. That's better. The ovaries normally develop one egg each monthly cycle. Cycle is how to say cycle. The cycle of events usually takes play, takes a period of time equal to one month or just below. The monthly cycle is called a period. The egg is released by the ovary into the ovary ducts. The ovary duct tubes are called the fallopian tubes. Fallopian. Oh yes, after the Italian gentleman who marvels by the name Mr. Fallopii. Because he discovered them. The egg floats down the fallopian tubes. If the egg is found by a sperm, their chromosomes will join. Chromosomes. Chromosomes joining is called fusing. Oh, also called fertilization. Fusing. The genes that control the baby's development are in the chromosome molecules. Molecules. The egg cell is called a gamete. Yeah, the chromosome is where the DNA is. The genes is, is uh, bits of DNA make each gene. So chromosomes, genes, DNA, they all go together. The sperm cell is also a gamete. Yes, gametes, sperms, eggs. Gametes have half the usual number of chromosomes. So they have the right number when they join. Uh, pollen is also a gamete. It's, it's the sort of sperm equivalent that plants have. Flowering plants. Gametes are called haploids because there are half the usual number of chromosomes. Ha! <laughs> For haploid, ha! <laughs> For half. Human haploid cells are the gametes called eggs and sperms. They have 23 chromosomes in their nuclei. Nuclei. Yes, the chromosomes, which is DNA, the genes, they're always in the dark, big spot, round about the middle of a cell called the nucleus. It's the, always the biggest thing in a cell, apart from plant cells when it's a vacuole. So many things. Sperms are haploids with 23 chromosomes from the father. Oh yes, of course, horse sperms, different numbers. Uh, monkey sperms, different numbers. I think monkeys have 24 in each gamete. Well, chimpanzees that is. Eggs are haploids with 23 chromosomes from the mother. Uh, wheat, for instance, you know, the stuff we grind up to make our daily bread, that's got 30 cro chromosomes in each body. Yet yeah, 60 is the total when they get together. Haploids have half the usual 46 chromosomes. Most human cells have 23 pairs of chromosomes, double the haploid number, so they're called diploid. Double is diploid. <laughs> All the other cells in your body have got diploid numbers, uh, apart from red blood cells that have none, because there isn't any room, because they're small. Muscle cells are diploid, <laughs> nerve cells are diploid, skin cells are diploid. Diploids have double 23, which is 46. When gametes fuse together, fertilization happens. Fertilization. <laughs> fertilization is in a petri dish in a hospital laboratory is called in vitro fertilization. Yeah, vitro meaning glass.
I just noticed that's an I. In vitro fertilization is called IVF. <laughs> the fertilized egg grows into a baby in the mother's uterus. Uterus. Nurses call the, the uterus a womb. Yes, it used to be always that doctors called it uterus, nurses called it a womb. But nowadays, nurses are as clever as doctors sometimes. Sometimes more clever. Draw normal fertilization and eggs surrounded by 100 sperms and one getting in. Okay, egg, egg nucleus, sperm, 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 sperm. Ooh, tail, one getting in. A lot of sperms. Yes, because they uh, gang together doing chemistry and letting one of them get in. Draw in vitro fertilization. A needle introducing a sperm into a nucleus of an egg. Okay, needle, syringe, syringes, plunger, <laughs> point of the needle, needle going into the egg cell, nucleus of the egg being a bit. And there's the sperm. Check your drawings with a Google image search. In vitro means inside glass. IVF babies are called test tube babies by people that don't know that in vitro fertilization is done in a dish called a petri dish. After fertilization, a new diploid cell is called the new diploid cell is called a zygote. The zygote grows into a baby. Eggs develop in the female's two ovaries. The egg is released into the ovi ducts, also called the fallopian tubes. Egg cells and sperm cells are called sex cells or gametes. They have 23 chromosomes, which is half the usual number, so they're called haploids. After fertilization, the zygote has 46 pairs of chromosomes. <laughs> Double the gamete number, so they're called diploids. Oh, diploids. I've got to change that. In vitro fertilization is used if people are making having trouble making a baby. Go! Cool. Did you spot the one mistake that I made on the spelling? <laughs> press my picture to get more of my videos. Press like, press subscribe. Bye!